Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the week two check-in for the month of February and that is from the 9th to the 15th. So as you can see not many things have been going on. Over half of it has been checked already and the check marks mean that it was already recorded in my joint planner which I'll show you in a second. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first I'm just going to go through the budget section by section to see if we can check off or fill in anything. So, so far all the check marks have been recorded. Fidelity has not come out yet. That will come out in, let's see, what's the date? Uh, actually tomorrow. Um, all of these are, have been filled in. The only thing is pocket money, which has already been filled in. Everything else will be checked in at the end of the month. Same with debt and the wedding. For my sinking funds, I think I already filled in everything that I need to. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. Um, so the Erin Condren subscription came out. I actually purchased that. That was 42, hold on, how much was it? That was 42.80, which actually, this is technically in week three budget, but since it's a sinking fund, it doesn't really matter when it happens. So I'm gonna check that off. And then let's see how much I had left over. So 45 minus 42 AD, or I guess I could have done that in my head, but 220 remaining. So that is done. And then finally we are at the weekly check-in page. So this week I only had two categories, Colton and crafting. So let's get that figured out here. So Colton is the first category. So the first unchecked item I have is Amazon for $94.14. And then in my sidebar, I have a breakdown. If I spend um, any money in a store or website or whatever that has multiple categories, I'll break it down over here. So I'm not using as many of these stickers. I think it's a little bit more cost effective that way. So Colton is the first category. So for this one, I did $50.14. That was for Valentine's Day. And then again at Walgreens for last minute stuff for $13.84. So I'm going to check this off. So that comes to a total of $63.93. Oh, excuse me, $63.98, sorry. Yeah. And then since I have Colton as a sinking fund, I have I have 83.65 right now, so minus 63.98. So I have 19.67 remaining. Oop, the coil always messes up my handwriting here. So Colton is done, and then moving on to crafting. So crafting, I also had in the Amazon purchase for $16 even. So this Amazon purchase now has been fully recorded. So I'm going to check it off in the calendar. And that was all I had for crafting. So $16 even. And I had a total. Let's see, did I spend? Oh, I did spend some last week. So I had $25.62 remaining. So I have $9.62 left, which isn't terrible. Okay, so that leaves everything for this week has been checked off. So this planner has been updated. Let's see, yep. So this one is done. And then now moving on to our joint budget planner. So rent has been taken out this week. at t will come out in a few days. As you can see, I filled in the TV antenna. We bought that from Amazon. So we had we were $2 under for that one. The rest of these categories will be filled in at the end of the month. Amazon Prime was actually taken out and that was $120. So now we have zero. Everything else we calculated at the end of the month. And then as you can see here, these are our transactions for the month. The only category that we are over so far is date night because 
for Valentine's Day, we forgot to budget that in and take that into account for our budget. So we under budgeted the amount that we should spend. So we went $20 over ish, which isn't terrible, but we just had to keep an eye on it for the remainder of the month. So that is my very quick check-in for week two. Let me know how you guys are doing down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.